Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, I have a special forecast that I'm making for today and that's FTSE uh, 100 which is a UK based uh, in stock market index. Uh, we have already analyzed the US stock market. I've already told you guys that I'm expect anticipating the large time uh, frame depression happening throughout world indices. I hope that I'm wrong in my analysis uh, but I'm afraid that what that is what the charts are indicating. Um, I'm afraid the good the, this is not a good news but it looks like things are not looking good uh, for uh, all the uh, major uh, actually all of the current uh, the indices throughout the world and we are looking for a major major depression that is expected to last for anywhere from uh, 8 years to 12 years so we're gonna look analyze the FTSE 100 today uh, my labeling is already available uh, here on the you can guys can see it I'm considering this whole price movement starting from the previous bottom uh, right over here as wave 3 and we have clearly a B and C which is wave 4 I'm considering this whole price movement this one not that top but this top at the end of wave 1 right over here and then a B C and a correction another correction so basically uh, a first the first part is uh, a flat correction then a zigzag and another zigzag right over here too or you can consider this as a 3-3 three, three and a 5 wave I haven't gone in back in in depth but we can see that the top hap happened here at uh, 5600 and then we have a top for wave 3 happening right over here too which is 7100 or 7116 ish and this is wave 4 ending right over here too and wave 5 right over here too now if we uh, if we uh, dive dive deeply in it there is quite a possibility we can actually look at the analysis and we can uh, definitely see as an ending diagonal as well there is a possibility the problem here is that I have applied some uh, my own personal research today on uh, all the world indices I'm normally following US stock market I have done some analysis on uh, KSI which is Karachi stock market in index for Pakistan I've also looked at FTSE and all of these things are actually converging on one thing uh, which is a major world depression uh, and this is exactly once again we are seeing it we can definitely talk about the labeling of this and we can consider that how we can consider this as a an ending diagonal one thing is to be sure that the last time frame cycle analysis uh, which is a proprietary research I am not gonna uh, show that research to you guys uh, but all of that is indicating that we are expected to see prices going downward uh, as to in terms of Elliott wave analysis I'm considering this whole price drop as wave A and wave B right over here I'm afraid I have bad news for Britain that uh, the stock market is going to crash absolutely to a major uh, somewhere around 2000 ish area I hope that it does not fall further down however there is still a possibility the least thing that we're going to see is that we can see at least a triple bottom forming right over here too. Uh, this is the least thing, but I'm expecting that there is a sign uh, that prices are going to go further down, uh, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. First of all, we can see that the first leg of uh, the correction which happened last year, uh, it did not stay in this region. It went further down to the end of wave 2 region. And this is very, very important indication, giving us an indication that we are seeing more weakness as compared to other markets. Uh, US, uh, UK is seeing uh, more weakness in the stock market than we, although we were able to jump up over our year, but this is a warning sign. We have seen the first sign of the uh, first wave of the expanded flat and second wave is about to be completed. I'm gonna comment on that. That was happening on a smaller time frame, And then we're heading downward. Uh, there. <coughs> it's going to be sharper price movement for a longer period of time so it's gonna be I have seen some markets in which uh, the third leg has stayed about 8 to 10 years or even 12 years as well so I'm expecting a similar thing happening in in uh, FTSE this is a monthly chart remind you this is a, not a, a daily chart this is a monthly chart so we're gonna zoom in today and see where we can see first of all I have brought I need to bring it right over here too I believe that there is a possibility we have already seen a top forming for wave B uh, uh, in expanded flat where which is uh, in which wave C is going to be much longer as compared to wave A uh, we can actually make it 1.618 2.0 2.618 all of these uh, different Fibonacci uh, expansions can be used but I have already given you guys indication that since we have seen the first leg going back to the support sign right over here too it did not stop over here it went further down 
So I'm expecting that there is at least thing we are going to see is right over here too. But my gut is telling me that we are going to go for the down possibly. But there is a, once again, there is a possibility that we can actually hit 3,500. Right now we are trading at 7,600. We will be bringing the market right over here more than 50% uh, back to 3,500. So we're going to look, look at today's, uh, see where exactly FTSE is. I have uh, a daily chart here for FTSE. And we can definitely look at the daily chart. And if you guys are some hearing some noises, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sitting at home and then a lot of stuff is going on. So this is the daily chart. And uh, I'm of a concern that <coughs> we probably have already completed or very, very close uh, to the completion of the structure that actually started right from over here. We are very, very close to the completion of the structure right over here too. So right now the top line is giving us uh, the 7,900 top for the previous top that has happened. And I'm not going to discuss the right over here too. I need to spend some more time. But once again, uh, there is, this is what I'm seeing on a smaller time frame. I'm expecting that the, in a day or two, we'll start seeing prices to make a U-turn. Let's have a look at four hourly time frames. So maybe I can bring some uh, attention right over here too. We have a structure forming right over here. We can use definitely this structure. This one right over here I'm talking about. I'm expecting that we're going to see some price movement going upward. So Four hourly. Let me turn back into hourly time frame. I'm trying to bring in a trend line that actually can cover the market. This one right over here too. You can definitely use this trend line, uh, which is more because if you try to use this one, it is more likely uh, to turn this way. And I don't want to turn the the trend line more further of in this direction. I want to keep it more close to the zero okay let's keep it this one okay instead we can use a horizontal line I'm trying to give you guys an indication where I we will see a confirmation of here we can see that we have seen a higher low here over here as compared to this one and this one is a higher low a higher low a higher low a higher low right over here too so i'm expecting that we can actually look at previous two higher lows and if price goes up over here make a higher low and goes up in that case we can push it further and this one push one step further and when that break happens we'll have confirmation that we are going down that will be indication once again and that is going to be an indication that we have completed the structure that actually started right from over here too because I'm also looking here for a couple of alternate turns as well, uh, alternate accounts as well and all of those are actually indicating one thing that we are very very close to uh, forming a peak in uh, FTSE 100 as soon as that happens uh, I'm expecting that we are going to see at least this thing I'm expecting that we're going to see at least this thing right over here too and that will be followed by a lot of noise by a correctional structure right over here. Something like you're going to see some probably uh, double three structure right over here too. This can happen. This uh, Once again, I'm putting this as an example that a double three structure is a good possibility of happening it here or we can also form a double zigzag first leg correction second zigzag uh, correction and another zigzag right over here going deeper but we'll see but first of all we're going to definitely see a stronger price movement for next few weeks uh, this should be anticipated in FTSE 100 and once again the large time frame if you are trading on a weekly time frame or if you're a uh, <coughs> investor in FTSE 
I'm definitely looking for a turn happening in FTSE. This is uh, happened just a bit before as compared to uh, US market and the structure is looking completely different as compared to the US market but definitely there are, is an indication of market going down I am bearish on FTSE. Uh, once again when you're looking at this price movement starting from this bottom to the top right over here too uh, it can be a little tricky I'll spend some more time on it what you want because we have a clear three wave structure in that case if you're looking at a three wave structure we can consider this as an A and a B and then we have a five wave structure upward uh, which right now is not really convincingly so I'll have to some sp spend some time over where exactly the structure is uh, finishing once the structure is finishing and we have seen a price drop we can bring it with right now we can start from even A and B and the rest of it is C uh, so whether C is finishing right over here too or it's gonna finish right over here too we'll have to spend some time uh, in in that regard but I am definitely looking for an A a B and C and on a smaller time frame I've already told you guys uh, that it's very very likely that we're gonna see uh, a U-turn happening in the FTSE in the next few days I hope that you guys enjoyed the analysis uh, stay with me and then we'll be able to spend more time um, on FTSE maybe I'll try to bring it uh, for our weekly analysis that I've shared normally wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye